rather I'm here as a representative of a traditional uh, uh, Vaidya's family, which has a background of more than 100 years with a blend of uh, Ayurvedic and modern doctors in the family. And uh, I, I would like to divide it into two parts, three minutes for the first one and four minutes for the subject proper, that is diabetes mellitus. I would like to do a SWOT analysis with the concept saying that our mission should be evidence-based Ayurveda while the vision will be health to all through Ayurveda. As you all know, what is the context? Context is as uh, WHO and other agencies are accepting alternative systems. But why people are looking at alternative systems? Exorbitant costs, cure for limited uh, emergency and acute conditions, major side effects, uh, doubt with the integrity of the corporate hospitals. I'm sorry to say this. I, I abide to my statement. And uh, organ specialties, as was uh, uh, mentioned by uh, one of the dignitaries today, and uh, mechanical approach of the medical personnel and traditional systems are believed to be time tested, relatively safe and effective. When we look at the strengths, larger faith is the major strength. Can we convert this faith into evidence is the question. Then relatively safe, cause chronic conditions, the refractive disorders as defined by WHO and uh, ICMR, simple and time tested and cost effective. What are the weaknesses? It's not well organized. Standard practices are missing sometimes. Acute conditions are not covered. A lengthy punch karma procedure and poor presentation in most of the places. When we look at the opportunities, there are plenty, like uh, gray areas in the modern medicine, what we discussed on the refractive disorders and lifestyle disorders. And health tourism is a big segment under which we have to look at the opportunities. 80% of the rural population are still depending upon these systems all over the world. Effective preventive care and global recognition. All are there as the opportunities for us. And the threat, major threat, what I foresee is Magic Remedies Act. Whenever I review this, I remind myself about uh, Charaka, Shushu, and Vagbata, who have given several conditions as incurable. Out of uh, all the conditions described in the medical text of Ayurveda, not more than 30% are claimed to be cured. Let us make an underline on this. So Magic Remedies Act was well enforced in those days. And uh, exploitation of the Panchakarma units this is another big problem where lots of lots of lakhs being charged for simple conditions which needs to be uh, addressed, otherwise it will be a major threat for the system. Physician specific practice, the standard practices need to be evolved and no physician referrals, this is another big problem. And insurance coverage as is touched and corporatization, there is a benefit as well as risk in this corporatization which needs to be addressed. And I, I would like to skip. Basically, as I understand, since I'm working with different hospitals, both modern as well as Ayurveda, there are therapeutic and mo uh, healthy modules which need to be developed. If at all we have to corporate it. Under therapeutic, these are the areas. And uh, you can have your specialties uh, and, and, and the Ayurvedic belt also with the health modules which need to be established separately. Otherwise, most of these healthy individuals, uh, they, they, they differ uh, in coming to Ayurvedic hospitals. Already some of the institutes have started their Ayurveda units. And what needs to be done? Uh, generate faith on the corporate hospital system as such. It is in the context of uh, alternative medicines. And anchorage is refers to alternative systems. Often I refer many of the cases to modern doctors, but I seldom have cases which are being referred by them. And that needs to be addressed. And this panel has to take it up in a serious way. Holistic or holistic, both are needed here. And therefore, we can have affordable and effective healthcare system. And I would like to skip these slides. My experience is just, if you look at this institute, Dr. Balindu is well aware of this. And we have taken this 120 bed Ayurvedic hospital to a different level, okay, by, by introducing all the required systems and we have developed an Ayurvedic hospital management software. I would like to mention specifically about this. Today, if you can visit this hospital and you just take a medicine called Chandra Prabhavati, you will get the information right from tooth reverse pharmacology here. Okay, suppose if you want to look at a disease and want to identify how many drugs have been prescribed in this disease, you can, you can get it through this software which we have developed. Probably this is the way to simplify the things than complicating and uh, making controversy about these things. That's how from nowhere to 350 to 450 is the OPD today, and we have taken the uh, hospital to a different level where we have a tie-up with an Italian group, we have a tie-up with an uh, uh, UK group, and we have a CA recognition. This is the first Ayurvedic Institute in the country to be recognized by the health tourism by government of India. It was among the top 10 in, the, in their search engine on the internet. 
and we have organized also workshops and we documented the clinical research as well as the surgical methods in Ayurveda. We have about four CDs generated. We have worked with uh, uh, Dr. C.P. Chawla. I consider him father of hepatology in India today, maybe the next director of PGI. We have uh, organized Stifla versus interference in hepatocellular carcinoma is ICMR project, erectile dysfunction with Dr. S.K. Singh, and uh, so on and so forth. We have done, interestingly, uh, with the help of Dr. Monica, she must be practicing uh, more Ayurveda today in sector 35C. So, and since she left uh, this institute and she developed interest towards Ayurveda, like what Dr. Verma was saying. And uh, right now I'm associated with the 600-bed uh, Ayurvedic uh, modern hospital, GSL, where we are evolving a system where we can introduce Ayurveda there. And they're keen to start Ayurveda college as well as uh, hospital. And uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. The integration, what is needed, already people are looking at it and I think uh, in the days to come, we will. And uh, again, results, several results. Uh, this is one of the results with which we are associated and we are developing a, a lot of uh, activities there. And coming to my subject proper, which I'm going to discuss is about diabetes. Having diabetes in my family, as about uh, all the eight members of my maternal uh, family are diabetic. Uh, five, four out of uh, five from my, my father, sir, are diabetic. My both grandparents are diabetic. So I started working on this, and today I have two patents, one granted and one just avoided. One sweet diabetic honey on which I have a patent, and a sweetening agent which is uh, going to be an uh, anti-diabetic agent is another one. So I, I, I'm in deep into this. So it's the right time to talk about uh, uh, the countries which are almost yellow or yellowish orange have less incidence. I'll discuss about it. And if you look at India, this is the figure, which may be more double than what is expected by 2025, with uh, most of the economic, uh, economic burden. But I would like to ask a simple question. Do we think diabetes is hyperglycemia, or hyperglycemia is diabetes? We always say no, right? We have type 1 and type 2, and other uh, different uh, varieties, where it's much done with diabetes in angst angsters and uh, other endocrinopathies and uh, gestational diabetes, etc. with all the poly symptoms, with uh, this WHO and ADA criteria. In fact, I follow the ADA criteria in documentation of my cases. I have more than 200 cases documented on different patients for the past about uh, seven years' time with a dropout rate of more than 80 to 85 percent. Let me say this honestly, because people try then sticking to this therapy, like what happens to other system also. But uh, I follow the ADA guidelines and I'm scrupulously documenting. Every week I get the ADA newsletter and I'm updating myself on this. My work is mostly concentrating upon the complications of diabetes than treating the diabetes. When I talk about diabetes, I definitely understand diabetes is not Madhumeha, as what I read in my text. It may be part of uh, uh, Madhumeha, but it is not exactly uh, uh, diabetes. Why I would like to say this, when we look at Egypt papyrus, uh, in BC, they have documented a condition called, uh, uh, which, which where uh, urine possesses sweetness. But Ayurveda differentiated about 20 types of conditions under which this is one condition, and your vasa mesa may be your ketonuria, and so on and so forth. So Ayurveda is the first medical science which identified, diagnosed, and managed while claiming diabetes incurable. And uh, I would like to throw light on the lifestyle which has affected diabetes, Asya Sukham. That means uh, your furniture, it bed, uh, yeah, I require one minute. And uh, Dadini, all milk products, curling, if it is uh, slowed down, it is going to cause several problems. We have documented several things. Smoked mutton is one of the causative factors of type one diabetes, as is reported in uh, Davidson Principles in Practice of Medicine. And uh, if you look at uh, all these things, what I would like to say, the lifestyle, look at the refrigerator and its sales, pressure cookers and its sales, and furniture and its sales, all have influenced our life. And uh, look at the statement. If you look at the yellow colored uh, countries, the sales of all these things are pretty low. Okay, I don't want to say that we have to uh, sacrifice all these things in our uh, life to reduce this to the minimum to enhance our health, okay? And uh, li like that. But what the observations I have made in my practice, let me, let me share it with you. 
I just started uh, looking at the Ayurvedic symptoms. I found them uh, relatively less when I look at enormous descriptions given in the modern text. Let me say this honestly. So I've taken some of the principles and I started working on Dantadina Maladhyatam. What is the Dantadina Maladhyatam? Then I found uh, probably this is periodontitis as a diabetes marker. But when I referred these cases to my friend, uh, uh, Dr. Rao, who is a diabetes, uh, a dentist there, he confirmed that these are the cases which are not uh, categorized as periodontitis. But I slowly documented these cases. I have uh, more than uh, 60, 70 cases with me. Anybody interested, I can share my experiences. Okay, and later we have gone for their GTDs. Okay, watch these cases carefully. These cases are later found to be diabetic, okay? And again, looking at the periarthritis is one of the symptoms, basing upon the Ayurvedic approach, saying that tatra uh, upanipadhaha snayikandraha tepi in the Madhivaroga Margas. So these are the subjects whom I have subjected to GTT again. They are found to be IGT, most of the cases. And recently, even my, my brother-in-law, who was complaining of... Uh, shoulder pain last week is found to be having hyperinsulinemia right now with the postprandial uh, uh, insulin levels more than 39. Okay, these are the cases which we have documented. Just I'll run through the slides. In the end, I found Ayurveda has both medical and surgical approach on diabetes. Shushruta was saying Premeha Pitika is the criteria for diagnosing Madhumeha, that is a surgeon's version, whereas Charak mentioned about the other clinical symptoms of Karpat, Daha, and other these things. So when you look at the diabetes, it's not simple uh, blood sugar alone. Yeah, Ayurveda also quoted this. They have divided diabetics into obese and non-obese, and they have given uh, several uh, herbs. Let us carefully go through this. Often, we come across uh, formulations in the market which have a combination of herbs which are not accepted by the text. Uh, that's an interesting observation. I reviewed so far about 120 formulations in the market. No, more than 90% of them, they do not follow the combinations given in the text. 27 formulations in uh, 1996-97, we have studied under uh, uh, Dr. Prakash V. Devan at the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology in the Pharmacology Division, all the 27, they have not shown any effect when we have studied them on streptogenes induced uh, rat models and uh, alox induced rat models. The reason being the combinations. When we have studied them individually, most of the uh, ingredients have shown uh, uh, significant uh, blood sugar lowering effect and uh, reducing the complications. And these are the drugs which need to be given, like Jambu, that is Eugenia, and uh, Khadira, that is uh, Acacia, uh, they need to be given to the obese diabetics. Non-obese diabetics, they require Amlaki, Karavelak, that is Mamaria, and uh, this Ajashrungika. Gymnema silvestri is found to be a major, major ingredient in many of the formulations, which I totally deny because it has a lot of, lot of gymnemic acids, about 23 gymnemic acids, all are highly polar, and they affect the uh, combination. If it is carefully studied, individually, if there is any herb which need to be identified as OHA, yeah, need to be identified as OHA, it is gymnema silvestri at 27% reduction of uh, plasma glucose levels. And the next nearer one is the flower of uh, Vinca rosea. No other Ayurvedic herb will go nearer to even 13, 14%. Okay, and uh, tribalist terrestries, Talbot like, uh, like activity, you have uh, coccinia, as was uh, mentioned, and indigenous uh, alpha glucose is inhibitor from Kerala, that is Aganaikam or Salacia reticulata, on which you, you have about six patents filed in Japan. Okay. So I'll, I'll skip. You have a lot of uh, uh, studies conducted on Ayurvedic herbs in the control of uh, retinopathies, neuropathies, and uh, nephropathies. Again, Today, I am ready to share at least 30 to 40 cases of grade one to grade three nephropathies with a combination of uh, Bhumi Amla and Guduchi. Yes, I have uh, this total bunch with me. Anybody interested, I can just hand over the bundle. Please go through, give me a review. How am I going to handle, I, I write down on my prescription and the time taken is also uh, informed to the uh, patient and that's how we are uh, 
handling these subjects. I have given a lot of data here. If anybody interested can go through this. And with this, I would just like to conclude uh, saying that uh, TRIFLA is one of the major uh, formulations for management of diabetes. And these are the current trends I have given. And my observation is we have to divide five years, 10 years, and beyond 10 years as the pre pre criteria. And it is type two diabetes which we are to address as add-on therapy and not the type one. Thank you very much.